Let's clean you a little bit. Nice. Let's get it. Hair, lighting, makeup. I haven't made a guitar video in a while, pretty much because comedy started coming back at least a little bit, but I've been out doing shows and stuff. I've started incorporating guitar into my comedy act a whole lot more, uh, which means I've been uh, playing more acoustic. I love, I still, still primarily fucking that old uh, electric guy, but uh, I've been doing some, you know, funny songs and bits and stuff, and I thought it would be fun to get uh, a new acoustic, a new old acoustic, an acoustic with some character, and so I'm gonna show you what I got today. I literally got this today, and I got a show tomorrow, and I wanna get it ready, so this is, I'll show you what we're gonna do. This is what I picked up. It is a 1964 Gibson LG Zero. The frets are great, it feels great, it stays in tune, uh, it looks great, but it's also, um, it's pretty beat up. Why is that what t guitar on TikTok is turned into? I don't know, I, don't, I can't do it, I think it's cool. I, I love that harmonic thing. I don't, I don't, I, I, I should watch a lesson. I don't know if I would say it sounds great in like a band setting, but as a dude on stage by himself. I think it's gonna be great. As far as originality, uh, I bought it at Caveman Guitars in Los Angeles. Dude told me that everything was original except it looked like the little uh, pegs here. What am I trying to say? They're not the original ones. Big fucking whoop. And when, I, when he took it in, I guess the tuners sucked. And um, so he went ahead and put these uh, period correct, or at least period-ish correct. Clouson Deluxe tuners. Period-ish sounds gross, right? Periods are natural and beautiful, but period is she. <laughs> sounds, uh, sounds gross. It just sounds like a gushier. No, this is not what you guys came for. Um, so what we're doing today to make this playable for me at a live comedy show is I need to add a pickup to it. The pickup I decided to use is this LR Bags M80. Why am I not in focus? Why can't I just be in focus? Motherfucking focus. Autofocus. Dude. Shit, maybe now I'll re-show you some of this stuff. Look at that. Beautiful. It says Clouson Deluxe. You'll have to believe me. But uh, see if we can get that checking in there. Look at that. So cool. There's a sound hole pickup. So it just slides under the sound hole. That part's easy. But... We will need to drill a half inch hole where the, uh, the uh, strap mount peg is. Do I have any business drilling into a 1964 guitar? Absolutely not. Should I get a professional to do it? 100%. Am I gonna do it at home anyway? Yes, unfortunately. And uh, I'm gonna show you either how easy it is, am I still out of focus, mother Or you're gonna see very quickly that you should go to a professional and not do it the way I'm doing it. But this is after watching a few videos and talking to a couple guitar friends, this is how I'm going to do it, okay? We're gonna unscrew this little peg right here, and then instead of taking a half inch drill bit, I wish I had a reamer drill bit, but I have an actual like hand manual reamer that goes to exactly half an inch and that is the hole I need for the jack at the end pin. So I'm gonna try to ream it. I, the thing is, I think it's gonna work. I'm just trying to not to do it real messy. I'm trying not to, uh, uh, oh shit, that shit out. I got fucking married since the last time I did a guitar video. Hell yeah. Um, if you're, you, just don't, you don't care unless you're, if you're into love. So we're gonna try to ream that and Hopefully you make a nice, clean, half-inch butthole on this guitar. So that's what we're hoping for. Once that's done, I got these, I got these half-inch dowels I just picked up for three bucks at Lowell's. Look at that, they look like little, they look like little, uh, uh, what are they called? String cheeses. I think I, hold on, I'll show you. Look at that. Looks like a little pack of string cheeses. That's fun. Don't get them confused. I have a chip my tooth. Oh. I could have bought one, but it was like, insanely long and I didn't want to go chase someone down to cut it and uh, three bucks I got a bunch. I don't know. I can use them for other things. That is surprisingly louder than I thought it would be 
that was a good time for everybody, I'm sure. To get the, the jack that you have to put through here to go through the sound hole, you'll see. You'll see when we get to it, but this is gonna be real nice to have so you don't have to, <laughs> ow, so you, so you don't have to jam your whole arm down the sound hole of the acoustic. So, we're gonna need a reamer, we need the pickup, we need the dowel, and then we of course have this little things for when you change strings because we're gonna put some brand new elixirs on there. This is the thing, I wanted a professional to do this. I would have paid whatever it was for their time to do a quick little drill, but uh, I got this today. It's already after five o'clock and uh, I have a show in San Diego tomorrow that I can drive to. I would not fly with this guitar, I don't think, because uh, flying with a vintage guitar, I wouldn't risk it. But I can drive to the gig tomorrow, and I would love to use this for my show tomorrow. So we're just going to try to do it now and hope for the best. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice this. Look at these up close. They got little, like, I don't know what you call that, like abalone inlays or uh, green baloney, green baloney inlays is what I will be calling them. Let's take a look at the pickup, okay? Look at that. That's cool, just goes in the sound hole. Should uh, screw on and off with that little screw, real easy. It's an active pickup, but it's cool because you can flip the little thing down here if you run out of battery and you have a passive pickup. So I thought that would be a good one to get. Plus there's videos of uh, David Gilmore using the, uh, I think the, the one lower model than this, the one that, uh, M1A maybe? The, 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 uh, the same one that basically doesn't have a passive move. Good enough for David Gilmore, good enough for Adam Newman comedian. We got some easy instructions it looks like in here. We got a few little parts case we need them. I think we're just gonna go for it. Basically what we're doing here is trying to get a half inch hole in there and then go in through the sound hole, pop this through there, and uh, what is it, this little part? Yeah, undo this little part, and we're gonna wanna stick that shit through it. First things first, we got a drill, or ream, or whatever, a half inch hole. So I guess let's just do the scary part first, okay? What if it just, what if I did this and it just fell apart right now? That would be fun, right? Look at that tight little guitar butthole. We're gonna ream <laughs> that butthole to half an inch. Why does everything have to be buttholes? Well, here we go, a complete non-professional drilling in to a vintage instrument. <sighs> The other thing I could have done is just drilled a half inch bit in there, but I feel like this is probably safer. If not the slowest thing I will ever do in my life. You know what? This is gonna take for fucking ever. I'm gonna check out my drill and see if I can get gradually bigger holes. Let's try that. I don't know, risking it all, baby. I'm gonna go gradually bigger until we get there and we'll ream the very last bit of it. Oh man, that little screw wasn't even all the way through, so this is so much scarier than I thought. This is honestly the first hole being drilled through here. Woo! That was nice and neat. Hopefully the next size up will be nice and neat. This is the biggest drill bit I have. This is 5 sixteenths of an inch, which is three sixteenths of an inch, not big enough. So let's get this one in there and then hopefully we can ream out the rest. A little bit of messy chipping, but uh, who cares? I mean, I do. I mean, it'll be fine. Just ream the last little bit. I have that thing. Is that safe? I don't think so. We're not gonna do that. It fucking hurts. It's so tempting to use that blade looking drill bit, but it looks dangerous. And this thing is taking forever, but it is working. And it looks like it's causing minimal damage or rough edge. Shit, I just can't keep holding this thing. Well, I've been doing that shit for an hour. 
and it still doesn't fit. So, let's see. Oh, that doesn't make me feel good. Dude. Hell yeah. That's what I needed. Damn, dude, I should have done that fucking 45 minutes ago. I was afraid to use it, and then I watched the YouTube video, and here we are. Maybe that's what you guys are doing. Whoops! Honestly, if I brought it to a professional, and that's how it came back, I wouldn't be mad. So, you know, that's pretty good. We got a half-inch hole. Woo, that fits in there nice. Boop, boop. Tight, but good. Uh, so what I thought was going to happen was I was going to stick this in there and pull it through, uh, you know, put it through the sound hole and pop it through, but from the back, can't do that because of the wire, and can't do it in the front and pull it through because this is an uh, eighth inch where the cable goes in, and this part's half an inch. So I needed a, I needed a quarter inch, not a, not a half inch. I'm done. That's okay. What I can do instead is take a guitar string, loop it through this little hole right there, and pull it through. The other tricky thing is this washer needs to be right up to the point where basically just this part sticks through. Here I have a guitar string that's part of a set that's not being used. A set that's, you know, is not complete. First we'll stick it through here. Just pull that right on through. We need more of that popping through, so we need to pull it out. And the idea is now to just adjust this little nut thing so when this pops out, this basically the whole small part comes through. So we're gonna make it a little bigger. And this might just take a couple tries, you know? Really thought we were just gonna make a quick video. 20 minute shoot, three minute vid. Fuck me, man, I forgot how much a pain in the ass guitars are. Shit. All right, now I'm putting the washer on over this thing so I don't lose this back in the guitar body. We'll put the nut over there. We'll use a little thingy to tighten it up a little bit. Not crazy tight. Whoopsies. And now we stick this last thing on. Look at that, a brand new belly button. We're gonna call it a belly button instead of a butthole because I feel like there's no reason to be so dirty on this page. Look at that though. It looks pretty pro. Look at that shit. Look at that tortoise shell binding. Love it. Honestly, that was the hard part. Now the only thing you really gotta do is you stick this in the sound hole. You use this screw to loosen it and these just clamp on and make sure it's on active. And then you plug this little thing into this little thing and we should have a pickup. Boom. Make sure it goes that away because uh, the two missing pole pieces, they have them included in case you want them, but they are for the unwound strings so you don't need them. And, or you know, you just look at the picture on the thing and go, okay, that looks about right. Loosen these so it fits over the little thingy. My one concern now is it looks like I don't know if these are going to fit on with the pick guard. Well, what do you do? I guess we're about to figure that out right now. Woo! That's a fun noise. Did I fucking put it backwards after all that? Sure did. Remember how I said not to put it backwards? I put, I put it backwards. So now we'll turn it around. Here, I'll just fucking get close and show you what I'm doing. Now we'll just, you know, turn that around because I'm done. It looked concerning with the pick guard, but I uh, I already looked up before I bought this pickup that other people with this exact same guitar used it, so we are fine. Here we go. Now we just tighten these down. That fits in there very nicely. Maybe it's a little crooked. We'll adjust a little bit if I got it. And um, I'm gonna tune it back up and test it because I just realized you guys don't need to see me change strings. I thought I had that ready to go because I thought I was going to have to take off all the strings to do this 
but it turned out I didn't. It was even, it was easier than I thought. This part, which is a pain in the ass, this fucking butthole belly button shit. Let's tune it up, see how it works. Cool, let's see if we have any volume or whatever. About to pop it in the belly button for the first time. You guys know I could have made that dirtier, but I didn't. This thing's got a little battery button. Boom, what do I got? Oh, as long as I hold it down, look at that. Four little batteries. One, two, three, four. Oh shit, no, I'm all the way. I'm charged. It's got a little volume thing. How cool is that? Volume's up, we're plugged in. Amp is real quiet. We'll take it off standby. I got it going through a little Fender Pro Reverb. I don't have an acoustic amp, but we're just probably plugging in through a direct box on stage most of the time, so whatever. Here we go. Moment of truth. We got amplification, baby. That sounds fucking awesome. It worked! Nothing's feeding back. I'm not crazy loud, but I'm not super quiet either. Uh, all we ended up needing was a guitar string, a reamer, and one of these blade, I don't know what they're called. I'm calling them blade wood drill bits. Yeah, buddy. Oh, fuck. The one and the Les Paul, come on. That's why uh, I'm not gonna keep my guitar sitting at home because it's gonna, if it's gonna get beat up here. I might as well go beat it up at shows. But um, I'll go ahead and post a clip or something. I'm be using this at the show tomorrow night in San Diego. You guys will have already missed that one, but I'll post new show dates on my, uh, you know, Instagram, Adam D. Newman, TikTok, Adam D. Newman, Twitter, Adam underscore Newman, adamnewmancomedy.com. Follow, subscribe. I'll do guitar videos occasionally. I'll do, I've been posting a ton more stand-up, maybe some of you guys have seen, and, um, you know, whatever else uh, I decide to post. But, you know, just posting stuff all the time because it's fun and uh, whatever. If you guys are into the stand-up, you can watch this too. Or if you like this, you can come check out the stand-up or you can keep them both fucking separate or you can just find something else on the internet because you don't like me at all. All right, I'm done here. I'm gonna go ahead and change strings and play around with it and then make dinner and then uh, do something else. But thank you for watching. It was fun to make another guitar video and uh, I hope you liked it and this fly is Motherfucker, I almost got it. If you guys want to take your vintage instrument and uh, drill into it, uh, I'm an idiot and I did it okay, so I feel like you probably could too. Okay, all right, goodbye. I love you. The song is uh, the song is about the worst gift I ever got in my life. Okay, my brother got me a bad gift for a birthday present, and uh, this is a song about that. My brother got me a honey baked ham. I opened up the box and I was like, damn, it's like 14 pounds of meat and it came with a brochure. I'm flipping through it all and none of this is kosher, but that's okay because we're not great Jews. But that amount of ham, bro, I got bad news. It's too much ham. Yeah. 14 pounds of ham is an act of aggression.